Hello and welcome back to our second episode of Invisible Link. I've had to start again because obviously last episode all three of our agents met an untimely demise at the hand of just far, far too many uh, guards. Uh, this time I think we're going to, well we'll try again. I say we'll be a little bit more careful but we'll see how it turns out. Uh, I've picked different agents this time. I've picked uh, Shalim Eleven, the guy with the rifle, and Banks. So um, I've cho haven't chosen Deckard this time. I want somebody with a rifle this time in case we meet somebody with heavy armor on the second mission. What are the chances of that? Obviously quite high. Uh, having a look around at these missions, we've got um, a nanofab here, which will let us get lots of really cool items quite cheaply. An executive terminal, which is very guarded, we'll stay away from that. A serve farm, which is very guarded. A vault, which will give us a ton of credits. And another nanofab here. So I think my plan is to go to Havana and then Anchorage uh, and get ourselves some really good equipment. So we'll head to the vault first. This is a by the numbers infiltration operator. You will be going here. There's a vault on site, probably an executive slush fund. Play it cautiously. There's no sense in risking valuable assets on a fishing expedition. Let's go. So, we've got a guy with a rifle this time. Two bullets, and he can pierce armor, which is really, really useful. So we're going to be using him if we get into a tight space. Hopefully we won't though. Okay, we need to get to that console in a minute. Let's have him look through this door. Okay, lots of cameras. Both active as well. We'll hack those. We'll have this console hacked. Gives us back what we just spent on those cameras. There's another console there. Anything else in here? Two consoles. Okay, we'll hack those. I'm not going to look in here yet because the cameras will tell us what's in there anyway next turn. Okay. Now we don't have cloaking this time, so actually the only way I could get past him would be to shoot him. But I'd rather not have to shoot people so soon. There might be another way around. Let's have a quick look in here. Okay, it looks like there's a guard in there. But that appears to be the elevator. Now I don't want him to actually stun the guard, the main reason being that his Neuro Disruptor takes four turn, five turns sorry, to recharge. So actually I'm going to leave that to Banks to deal with. So let's open this door. You see that? He's going to spot it and we will stun it when he comes through the door. That lets us get around here at least. So we'll steal his stuff. Yep, we don't need the pass cards, banks. And we're gonna have a look in here again. Okay. What we'll do is actually I'll give him the, the secret medicine. And I'll stun him for longer. Down here. So I've hacked that camera so that'll be fine. And then we can get around this guard next turn. And we found the elevator, which is great news. So I'm gonna lock that up. We'll unlock this. We'll have a quick look actually first. Okay, there's a safe in another guard. Uh, I don't think actually we're going to take out that guard. I think we're just going to sneak around him. He's stationary, I think. 
just check his stationery. Um, actually, she can check. Yeah, he's stationary, he's not going to turn around. So we'll hack that safe. Rob it next turn. It's been quite uneventful so far. We've been quite sneaky. Something out of the safe. I'm trying to find the vault. Big old room here. Let's have a look. Okay, there's going to be a camera down here. There's a camera there as well, so we can hack that. And then we can make our way through that zone. Now, I promise here I've got a bit of a got a bit of a problem because I fully expect the vault to be there, fully expect it to be there, and Banks is much better at robbing. Uh, vaults than Shalem is, he will get she'll get much more money out of it, so actually it makes, I've got to send her the way I think, where I think the vault is I sent him this way he can explore this way and we've actually got a shop as well although we don't need that because obviously next mission we do we're going to a discount one <laughs> I want to get through this quite dangerous room because there's very little cover. Firewalls have just been increased, so we've got to wait another turn for this camera to go down. There we go. Okay, it's looking like the vault wasn't there. It was the wrong choice. Vault being here, won't it? No? Down here? God. Alright, this is. This is tricky. We're gonna have to go past one of their reinforcement elevators as well on the way out. I'll hack those and then I'll let Banks clear them up when she comes past. There's nothing up there, that was a total waste of time. Had to check it though. Could have been something useful. This kid in the area. It's not helpful though, that guard there is choosing to camp the elevator. It's a bit. It's going to be a bit annoying on the way out. Right, one volt. So we need to tackle the security. It's going to take us. Well, it's going to take us a while. If I hack that, 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 break that by one. And well, actually, is there anything else I need to hack? Probably be a bit quicker. We'll do that anyway. I'm gonna stick him up here and he'll basically just shoot anyone that comes out of this elevator, I think. If anyone comes out of this elevator, they might come out of the, um, the other one. In which case, brilliant. Okay, so there's a guard there. So I'm going to leave him there. 
Because with a gun, he's pretty much safe. I mean, he can he can shoot people even if they've got Overwatch. Uh, even if they're basically looking for you to do something. She can raid the safe. Ooh, Stim. Refreshes an agent's attack and restores 4 AP. Interesting. Now, it looks like he is actually going to come down here, this guy. I think what's the best thing to do because can he get there in one turn? I don't think he can, so we'll see what happens. Because there's oh, there was somebody going down there, but they, they seem to have packed it in. They're not going to bother looking in the uh, vault now, so we'll just raid it. Money, money, money. And while she's doing that, he is going to stay on Overwatch. I don't know if I want to kill him because it will raise the alarm level. But actually, because the elevators. Actually, how'd you get into that room again? It's there, isn't it? Yeah. Might be alright. I think we're alright for the time being. I don't think we need to shoot anyone. Looking around. Yeah, let's keep looting. take the priceless artifacts which we're going to need more space for <laughs> costs us about 500 to upgrade her inventory but actually um, it's in the area. it stays with you for the rest of the game and I think you get 200 for these artifacts so it doesn't quite pay for itself but you do get reputation as well and that stim's quite good I want to keep hold of that so now we can start making our way out now I'm still not sure if there's a guy in there or not I'm really not sure so I'm cautious to move him I mean he's coming down to there but I can't remember if there's a guy in there or not. Let's shut this door. Looking around. Let's keep moving forward. At this point, I am actually going to get him to use his rubbish. Um, Neuro disruptor to get that guy when he comes through. Okay, one elite force has arrived, but he's not. He must have gone to the other elevator, which is great news for us. He hasn't got anything worth nicking. Let's close that door. Next turn, I'll move him up. Don't want to move him up this turn because I want that extra time on that guard. Plus, whoever's going to move there, I'll be able to sneak up behind them. It's looking like actually there is a guard on the elevator. Oh no, it's whoever's coming around here. Now he's used his neuro. Um, neuro thing, me, Bobby. Neuro disruptor. Oh. Silly game. Alright. I don't think I actually need three turns on him. I could move. Actually, no, he's going there, isn't he? He's going next door. He's not going there. Oh, I might have got out actually this turn. Never mind. Just put melee reaction on just in case. Okay, so he is going to come down to here. So we'll stun him as he comes through to give him some cover. And I think we're home free. <gasps> and in the end, we didn't have to use uh, the rifle. At least not this, this level. 
So we escaped with 1,500 um, credits, 200 in corporate intelligence, 1,700 credits overall. A good haul. Excellent news. So we've got quite a lot of credits that we could actually use to upgrade our agents. But I'm not going to. I'm going to save it for a bit. Because the next mission that we're going to do next episode is Anchorage. And that will give us some really good shops that sell some amazing items at cheap prices. So I hope you join me for that episode. And until then, well, until then, I hope you pick up this game for early access and give it a go. Because it is a really fun thing. Goodbye.